Yes, so it's basically a, a group of fossils that were found in Ethiopia, in Africa, uh, that were a very old uh, uh, ape uh, fossils that dated back to about 6.5 million years. It was a big uh, scientific discovery, another one that lines up with the theory of evolution, of course. Uh, and we received a question about it in Irshad, and uh, naturally I would forward the question to the, the Office of Jurisprudence, but they had no answer really for that uh, question. It was purely scientific. And the question was, how do you, uh, how do you explain this Islamically? Mm. Uh, which ended up in me uh, uh, starting a research about Islam and evolution. So uh, I started, uh, you know, learning for the first time, uh, really evolution. And uh, what I thought I'm going to I'm going to learn in a few days and then write an article about took me months, literally. Uh, it actually uh, deconstructed uh, my myself. I deconstructed my knowledge, deconstructed my understanding of life. Uh, the whole model of life has changed with what science has has discovered for all these years that we you know it's uh, it's away from our public understanding you know uh, so i've uh, just understood the um, um, the theory of, of evolution i could not reconcile it with uh, an islamic version i could not mm. reconcile it with creationism and i had to submit to uh, science <laughs> And Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.